At the crack of dawn, our camera trap captures a large herd of nervous elephants on the move through a dangerous path. It's a vast tea plantation. They have to hurry to get to the other forest patch before humans arrive. The elephants have been already spotted and people are trying to chase them away. Tea estates sprawl across the eastern Indian state of West Bengal, a region renowned for its exquisite Darjeeling tea. No doubt they provide a livelihood for millions of people. But who could have imagined that this landscape is also a critical habitat for Asian elephants? Wildlife researcher Arita Shetri is conducting groundbreaking studies on how elephants are adapting. And here's what he found. The elephants were using the tea gardens to move between the forest patches, which was a very important part of their ecological need. Elephants are large-bodied animals, they need a lot of food. And in order to do that, they have been hardwired to keep moving. So in that sense, these tea gardens are essential to maintain the population connectivity of elephants. Over a 30-day period, our camera trap captured videos of hundreds of elephants using the tea plantations, causing absolutely no damage to the crops. This despite the fact that even babies, as young as just a few days old, have to walk long distances. When night falls, it's a bit more peaceful. This little one is exhausted, so he rolls on the ground. His brothers hover over the baby, standing guard as they cool off. After a short break, they move on. Meanwhile, it seems these two juvenile tuskers have been alerted by something. They scan the place and keep walking. They have to remain vigilant every step of the way. As day breaks, another large herd protecting their young. Even as the juveniles play around, these elephants are learning to take it all in stride. Elephants are very perceptive and intelligent creatures, right? So they have adapted to living with people. If you look across India, almost 80% of elephant ranges are actually outside protected areas. So they are living with people, sharing space with people on a daily basis. The key question is, are humans willing to evolve and adapt? Whether they like it or not, they have to share space and coexist with the wildlife. But the core issue in India is the exponential human population growth. At about 1.4 billion people living in this country, India is expected to be the most populated country on the planet as of 2027. In this North Bengal landscape, approximately 700 people are crammed into every square kilometer. They encroach into the forests, depleting the resources upon which elephants depend. So they're entering human dwellings, making encounters with people inevitable. This man seems to have had a narrow escape. He's biking the same path as the elephants, totally unaware that a large herd had just passed by. He's one of the lucky few people. In the tea plantation landscape, about 30 people lose their lives every year uh, due to encounters with elephants. Between 2009 and 2018, almost uh, 150, 200 people have been killed by elephants. Have there been retaliatory killings? I think due to the very deep cultural reverence towards elephants, there have been very few reta retaliatory killings. I can only recall maybe one or two incidences of electrocution or poisoning that have occurred. But the core problem is their forests are being ripped apart into smaller and smaller patches. Their habitats are being replaced with roads, railways, farms and other types of development to boost the economy. The current paradigm in the world is growth. Everybody wants growth, but at the cost of what? We are eroding our natural resources, our wildlife to promote growth. Development, food security, human safety can be made compatible with conservation if it, it's planned in a proper way. Part of that planning will require preserving shared spaces and transforming areas such as this tea plantation into elephant-friendly habitats. We are currently focused only on these small uh, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries to conserve elephants. But actually we are protecting them over much larger areas which we have not acknowledged so far. Almost over 60% of this landscape was occupied by elephants. The long-term vision for this landscape is there will be a network of uh, protected forests which are connected with tea plantations and corridors so that elephants can roam freely in these areas without any sort of damage to people. 
and people can also uh, carry on their activities and livelihoods without significant impacts on elephant conservation. In the meantime, elephants will have to navigate through this treacherous path while staying away from people and protecting their babies. Reporting from the tea plantations of West Bengal, I'm Sangeeta Ayer.